How well preserved was the plane? Pretty much what you'd expect. Brad, it was insane. It was like traveling through time. No shit. Well, it was like traveling through time and accidentally ending up in a dimension where the past is underwater and like everything is covered in barnacles and sharks. Okay, sharks? we get it. it we get it. Uh, we get it. Hey, I thought it was pretty intense. Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, uh -huh. the bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. Sweet. Look at baby brother checking on the other brother. That's cute. Anyways, big boy, you gotta tell me what's going on. Alex, you're like an open book with a 50-point font. I can read you from a mile away. Something's up. It's nothing. I'm oh, fine. bullshit. You're like Monsignor Mopington over here. Julia, are you happy? Hell yeah, I am. Well, what you mean? Yeah, of course. Why would you ask me that? I guess I'm just kind of anxious about, like, our future, you know? What's next? I think we've got a long and happy future together. I do. Really. You know, you're pretty much the best thing that ever happened to me. Aww, you're so adorable. I love you, Alex. You see, Alex? She loves you. She cares about you. Propose you know to her! Is. I'll go get him. Why don't you just chill out here? Alex is so unsure if he should propose hey, to her or not, but... Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. How? Yeah, sure. How did you get distracted if you were just standing oh. there the whole time? Which one is, uh... You know, where the magic happens. Ew. He's trying to fuck her so bad. He's desperate. On behalf of my family, I'd like to apologize for my brother acting like a horny fifth grader. Ah, uh, it's okay. I can deal with children. Burn! Right. Beers, where are they? Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. Yeah, okay. Finally, we could get our drink on. Had a long night down there. Scary shit, too, so I definitely need to pop a couple bottles All right. in. Now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. Oh my god, learning time! Kumbaya! I can't wait. Right. You seem kind of preoccupied. No, I'm good. Ah, this is the camera, okay. Oh, that's so cute. Look at the couple. Ooh, okay. Obviously. Air Rescue well, Service, Conwyn well. Island. So, wow, these are amazing shots. I'm pretty impressed. Like... Someone Ooh, yeah, that shot's not good. Hey, got the pad yet? Sorry, I got distracted. No worries. Let's go get it. Those were really nice shots though, I got them at. Got it. Let's go up. Come here, you vixen. Ooh, a romantic moment. Easy, tiger. We should get back. Yeah, horn dog. Right They're just sitting there awkwardly, like, thank God for beer. <laughs> You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone, check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So, what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? 
It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. You find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless, all of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey, they were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. I mean, I feel bad now. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me. I'm sorry. Okay, maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You oh, think no. you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. But... They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. Uh happened right around here too let's hear it we could all use a good show to ease the tension from the captain you know let's hear it i bet you can spin a good yarn it's kind of messed up actually scare away little bro okay here goes this story is true it had happened right near here in an old lighthouse classic setup wait true story where'd you hear this if you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. Pervert. Not like that. He of the one-track mind. The woman answers. I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. What? Of course. The lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So... They go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? Yeah, Jason. Cliches and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. Like chopped liver. You know, sometimes you have to embellish the facts a little to get at the deeper truth. It's okay. Okay, so... Who did it? The woman says, it was my husband. And she turns to the closet, says, he's in there. Ah, yes, the husband. And that's why I've always been a little weary of marriage. So the lighthouse I hope that's a joke. You just hurt Alex's feelings. Opens the door. And sure enough, there's a man inside. But he's cut his own throat. What the hell? Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer closer and he sees it's his own face and then its eyes bulge out and screams what the hell <laughs> yeah, so ah, gross. Hey, well, super twist nice <laughs> yo that shit scared quiet. me what the hell you have me going pretty cool I think why is julia getting song. all of the lines in the comments Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required. One more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are you these? You aquaholic. We standard need to leave, bro. Standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, ma'am. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddies. And I'm out. I say let's jet before we get flipped. Okay. 
You know, I love thunderstorms. It definitely helps me to sleep at night, but I don't know if I feel comfortable enough to sleep in a ship during a storm. Like, oh shit! Someone's in there! Someone's in there! Someone's outside the boat! No, no! Oh, oh shit! I don't like this at all. Are these pirates? Ghost pirates? Yo, they're gonna cut and kill everyone. Slice them. Chop livered. Seafood style. No. What the hell, bro? What the hell? Oh, shit. He got the knife under his throat, bro. What the hell? The hell is this? Why are there pirates in the boat in the middle of the storm? I knew we should have left. What? Oh my god, bro. This sucks. Where's the captain? Y la capitan. You better not hurt her. I I'm gonna cry if they hurt the captain, bro. Like, okay, she's safe. Thank god. Oh, it's the guy from earlier. The one that you threw money at? Stupid. What's this guy's face again? Oh yeah, she's like, Bitch, it's all your fault. You should have never thrown money at them, assholes. Uh, I'm gonna ungag her. <laughs> one by one, right? That's pretty slick, though, how to ungag someone like that. Taking notes as we speak. How could you just had to piss them off, didn't you? Yeah, asshole, it's your fault. We should have thrown your ass out the boat. God damn it. This is all my fault. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Sorry isn't gonna help us, asshole. What's up with your face? Hey, hey, damn it! Stop it! No, my captain! Oh, captain, my captain! Oh, oh, almost free. Wow, she's pretty flexible. Okay, I see her. Okay. News. I don't see how this could get any worse. The bad news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, oh maybe, Conrad. maybe. Great. Just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How is that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Hey, Alex, what are they gonna do to us? Don't worry. If they were gonna kill us. They would have done it already. Okay, Just but. Just worried about being killed. Yeah, like getting raped too. Untie, untie, Guys, fuck it. We gotta get untied, right now. <laughs> oh, shit, oh, that's not good. Come on. <laughs> shit. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a dodge and a half, big boy. Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. What is that supposed to yourself, mean? You piece of shit. You're the little lady. Yo, you just had a talk, Conrad. That's what you get for trying to play the hero, bro. Like, you're gonna get your ass beat, bro. Damn. I almost feel sorry for him, honestly. Oh, yeah. You know how to treat a lady, right? 
Damn, he's gonna get knocked out. I know he has a headache. Whoa, a gun? Oh, a knife. Okay. Captain. Slow down. Easy. Oh, thank God. Thank God. I didn't know what to say, so I kept quiet. Wait, they took him out just to beat him up? Just to put him back? Be on your best behavior, little man. Why are you bleeding already? Get off! Get off! <clears throat> Oh, the brother's there! He's slick, he hid. Julia, we're coming back. <gasps> oh, Jesus, Conrad. Yeah, I got my ass beat. Wait, wait, no! Alex! Stop it! Let her go! You bastard! Hey. Dipstick. What? Shut the fuck up. Eat my dick, bitch. I don't think they're gonna hit her. They have an hit Fliz. Yeah, but I bet they're gonna do other stuff. my brother? Yeah. He's hiding. He's okay. All right. Turn around. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we can take him by surprise. He's smart. They're coming. To wait and see what they want to do with us. So we're stuck in the boat with kidnappers, bro. Eight seconds. The storm's eight miles away. I do that too. Maybe we can take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a speedboat. The main guy. He's got a gun. If we play our cards right, we can catch him by surprise. Take him out. If you can distract them, I can sneak around to the speedboat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. It's too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys, distract them. Conrad, just... Stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, okay I got let's you. Do it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, what the hell are you thinking? What the hell, guys? Conrad, just get to the boat. Okay, bye. I mean, I thought I was gonna do it, but whatever. Okay, I'm glad that the captain is not hurt, so... Keep calm. Keep calm. Oh my god, this is so... nauseating.
grab grab the knife drop it buster drop it bitch hour over here Fliss, I got this let me handle it drop your fucking gun oh shit <laughs> about what you're doing, boy. Boat! Just get to the boat! This kid's trying to kill me, Orson. Oh, shit! <laughs> Damn it! Damn it! I should have ran. <laughs> Bring them downstairs. Take this. Use it if you have to. Damn, man. I'm sorry, I fucked up. Sit down. Over there. You, right here. Sit. Now. At least no one got hurt. hurt. C'est mon bateau. Stop. Ferme là, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule. Okay, whatever. I don't know what they're looking for. Like, why y'all here? You know what? Maybe they Wilson. didn't crash by accident. I bet they did that on purpose. To see if, when they come around the same area again, if they're going to be in the same spot or not. Which one of you is going to tell me about this Manchurian goo? I know the captain's pissed. Alex is trying to figure out what to do. Julia is tending to her brother. So. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't know what to do in this situation. You fucking blew our best shot. We could have gotten the boat back and you blew it. Yeah, I get it. All right, shut the fuck up. There's no harm in just talking. You wanna talk? Yeah. Keep the volume down. Okay, I'm just thank say, you. Fliss has gotta be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's a captain and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian goal. They're in cahoots. Are you out of your mind? How did you come up with this bullshit? How fucking dare you, you overprivileged asshole? You're all in this together. This was a trap, and you set us that up. That asshole. Put a cork in it. Oh, yo, I almost sit got still, my head. How the hell am I supposed to sit still? Do you know we're in the middle of a goddamn storm? You, come with me. Who? Me, the captain? Hey, yo, what the fuck? What do you want now? Ew. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Okay. You try anything. Anything fish. Like your breath? There be consequences. Yeah, whatever. Fuck out of here. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Radio, everything okay? Over. Just requesting any information about this storm you can give us. It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. Sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. A-okay out here. We can handle a couple of puffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. No! 
Oh shit! Oh no! Fuck! 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 Wow, he actually helped me. Everything's better when we help each other out. You get that? Don't you? Huh? I mean, for now, sure. But whatever. Yo, I almost fell to my death. They're drowning down there. I'm gonna help. Come on. Hey, move it now. Thanks, I guess. Anyone know about Brad? Is he hiding somewhere? Brad is under the bunk bed. Why are you so dumb loud with this? We can't leave him down there. He could drown. We need to get him out of there. He's not safe. Brad, buddy, come out. Move. Yo, this storm is insane. Are you sure you know how to drive this? Oh shit! The ship! Wow, the ghost ship. Oh shit! Yo, you ran into the ghost ship. Yeah, you don't know how to drive this thing. You're gonna get everyone killed. Good job. Stupid. Everyone's still alive. Yeah, because I played my cards Things right. Could have been quite different. Yeah, someone could have gotten killed, I know. Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? Go ahead, tell me. Give me any type of advice. Uh... What were it You're be? You're going it alone. Independent. Admirable. Possibly foolish. Oh, shit. We'll learn soon enough. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But yes. here's the thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. Nice. A little drink drink here, drink drink there. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have said that. Thanks for the clue, though. Appreciate you, fam. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.